Andrew was reportedly told that he would never return to public life. That seems pretty definitive. What's it, the story? It does. So uh, Prince Charles at the time, he had called Prince Andrew to a meeting at Burkhall in Scotland and this happened just a couple of days before the Queen passed away and um, in that meeting it apparently was just the two brothers together and Charles really laid out to his brother Andrew that there is no way back for you in the royal family, that there's no chance of you being able to rehabilitate rehabilitate your image and take up some sort of uh, form of public role and apparently that decision left Andrew blindsided. He apparently left the meeting in tears and he was really shocked and, and really didn't understand why there was no way back for him which exactly Sylvie sort of makes you Sorry, laugh. I don't mean to laugh but you think how can you just be so how could he not see the not writing on that wall? Exactly. Mm. Look Prince Andrew had apparently been asking his mother the Queen for some sort of royal role for months. He did step, step back from public life in November 2019, but uh, his mother was his biggest supporter. She's no longer here, so now really Prince Andrew has nowhere else to turn He's now that his cold. brother, mm. the King, won't let him back. And also Prince William is said to be a real big block of his uh, uncle having some form of royal role mm. and I guess the public doesn't want him back. Really. It's surprising that he's surprised. Yeah. <laughs> he's just poison, isn't he? Mm. He is. It's, look, he's done a lot of damage to himself and also the monarchy and King Charles really doesn't want to have that shadow uh, uh -huh. cast over the family, especially as he embarks on a new reign. OK, there are also reports this morning that Meghan Markle tried to score a big name guest for <laughs> her podcast but was given the cold shoulder. What is the truth <laughs> behind all of this? Look, Sylvia, I have to say, first of all, I don't believe this story. Not for a moment. No. <laughs> but it would be funny. So Meghan, yeah. the Duchess of Sussex, uh, we are understood that she reached out to her sister-in-law, Catherine, to ask Kate to be on her podcast, Archetypes, and uh, there's still no word from Catherine whether she <laughs> wants to do it oh. or not. I think it's very unlikely that, firstly, Meghan even reached out to Kate, and also, even if she did, there's no way on earth that uh, Catherine would ever have said yes, especially after what Meghan said about her sister-in-law on Oprah, where she accused her uh, Kate of making her cry during a bridesmaid's dress yeah. fitting around the royal wedding, um, really throwing her under the bus there. Kate's never commented publicly about mm. that particular issue. So I say highly unlikely that Meghan actually did ask her to do the Nonsense. podcast. But couldn't you imagine? The reports we're hearing now is uh, Meghan wanted to speak about working mum life and how hard it is to combine royal duties with being a royal mum. Give mom. me a break. <laughs> I can't so, deal with that. I I also, you're calling rubbish on that. I call report. rubbish, but okay, Dickie, I would love for it to be true. You want it to I be true. Yeah, yeah. Well, I hope this next story is true because it's my favourite one. Um, an unlikely friendship between the Queen and Tom Cruise? This is true. So Yay. the Times in the UK is reporting this one. Uh, apparently Tom Cruise, he took part in a, a Platinum Jubilee event in May at Windsor Castle, near Windsor Castle, and the Queen was there, but she had to leave early because of her mobility issues. But uh, she was really sad about not being able to meet Tom Cruise, so she extended an invitation for him to come to Windsor Castle and have tea. Mm -hmm. He said yes, and she gave him a tour of the castle. He was allowed to land his helicopter on the grounds of Windsor Castle. Cool. He was. <laughs> now, something that not many people are allowed to do, and yeah. the Queen is said to have loved uh, his company so much that she invited Tom Cruise back for lunch at a later date, apparently. I mean, <laughs> really sad now that that cannot happen. Yeah. But, um, look, Tom Cruise has been a member, a friend of the royal family for years now. Uh, his friendship stretches back to the days of Diana, but he hadn't met the Queen before. So this is a really nice one. And apparently the Queen let him take photos with her, so wouldn't it be amazing yeah. to get those images one day? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> if my memory serves me correctly, he gave William and Kate an advanced screening of, of Maverick, Maverick that's to, right. with him in the room. They watched yeah, it together. That's right. And just days after uh, this Windsor Castle thing, uh, Tom Cruise actually hosted William and Catherine at the premiere. So certainly a close, close relationship. Ties. Yeah, really Very nice. Good. He's okay. a smart guy, isn't he? <laughs> he is. And charming. Well, the truths and the lies in the <laughs> Royal Reports this morning with <laughs> Natalie Oliveri. Thanks, Thank Nat. See you. G'day, it's Ali. And Carl. Thanks for watching the Today YouTube channel. <laughs> Subscribe now for brand new videos every day and exclusive bonus clips. Ali, say please. Please? Why? Please? I don't know. <laughs>